The whole high-speed rail project, including the section from London to Birmingham, should be scrapped, according to a local MP. That after the government said it was going to relook at the scheme's finances, with the project running late and over budget. Those living alongside the current construction site say any scaling back on the original plans undermines the viability of the whole endeavour. Well, our reporter Brennan Nichols is live on the HS2 route in Aylesbury for us tonight. So, Brennan, why are there questions around its future? Simple answer here, Alan, is money. HS2 is meant to deliver faster journeys, more capacity and transform the UK. But since construction started three years ago, costs have spiralled, in fact, nearly doubled to £70 billion. We have, though, had a pandemic, the war in Ukraine and rising inflation. They've all had an impact on the project, which is now behind schedule. Is HS2 digging itself deeper into trouble? The fast-speed rail link between London and Birmingham comes straight through Buckinghamshire like here in Aylesbury. It brings with it the largest transport project of a generation. However, it's already years behind schedule and billions of pounds over budget. Yes, the country's invested hugely in faster infrastructure for particularly HS2 and, and travel, and there's a large part of it substantially built. I think the sequencing of what happens next is a perfectly legitimate question when we've been hit by the enormous costs of coronavirus, probably £400 billion, probably another £100 billion from the war in Ukraine, and people rightly will say, well, look, there's a balance of money that needs to be spent on health, education, defence and many other things. HS2 comes with a promise of shorter journey times to Birmingham, of increased capacity on the rail network for both passengers and freight. And during its construction, tens of thousands of jobs have been created. However, for those communities along its route, rail services here at Aylesbury train station have been replaced by buses to Princess Risper for 10 weeks, whilst others in, in local communities are facing road closures. And many feel if the ambitions of the whole project are scaled back, then is that pain worth those gains? One, I don't think it'll ever happen. I don't think it'll get finished. To be perfectly honest, I think it's a waste of money. A huge waste of money, a big mistake in the first place. It's sort of ruined the countryside, isn't it? It's costing a lot of money. We've um, got a lot of families who live over in like the Risborough, Chilton areas. Um, you drive out there now, it's just an MS everywhere, isn't it? While work continues, rumours flourish that the Phase 2 route to Manchester and its London terminus of Euston could pay the price of rising costs. The local Tory MP wants to see his own government halt the whole project. Well, I hope the government have seen sense and they do scrap HS2, not just north of Birmingham, but the whole thing. We can get that land put back in large parts how it was and where we can't use it for something that communities are actually going to find useful, be that housing where we want it or commercial development or something that actually is going to add value to Buckinghamshire and value to the United Kingdom. Because HS2 isn't. When we bring London and Birmingham and places in the north much closer together, when, when, when we deliver that and when we run that first train and when we take traffic off the existing rail network to allow that to serve communities in a much better way, that will be the measure of success of this project and it's coming soon. Well, it's not coming that soon, 2030 at least, they reckon, before we see that first train. And if you live around here and you want to get on board, you've got to go 50 miles into London that way or 50 miles to Birmingham there to get on board.